Have you ever wondered what makes those laser pointers create such bright focused beams of light? They're not your ordinary flashlights. Lasers are special because they produce light in a very different way. While a flashlight emits light in many directions, creating a broad beam, a laser concentrates its light into a narrow, intense beam. This remarkable property allows lasers to do incredible things from scanning groceries at the checkout to performing delicate surgeries. But what makes lasers so special? To understand this, we need to delve deeper into the world of light and atoms. The word laser itself holds the key to understanding its magic. It's not just a fancy term, it's an acronym that reveals the science behind it. Laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Each word in this acronym is crucial to understanding how lasers work. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Let's break it down step by step to make it easier to grasp. Light is pretty straightforward. It's what we see every day from the sun, light bulbs, and even our screens. Amplification means making something stronger, in this case, light. Think of it as turning up the volume on a speaker but for light. Stimulated emission refers to how lasers produce light. It's a process that involves exciting atoms to release energy in a very controlled way. It involves exciting atoms to release photons, which are tiny particles of light. These photons are then amplified to create a coherent light beam, and radiation simply means energy traveling in waves like light and heat. This is the form in which the amplified light travels. So, a laser takes advantage of how atoms behave to amplify light and create a powerful concentrated beam. This beam can be used for various applications from cutting materials to medical procedures. Imagine a stadium packed with fans at a rock concert. Everyone is singing along but their voices are jumbled together. Now, imagine if everyone could perfectly synchronize their voices, singing the exact same note at the same time. The sound would be incredibly loud and focused. That's similar to how a laser works. Instead of sound waves, we're talking about light waves. In a laser, all the light waves are in sync, vibrating together in the same direction. This is called coherence, and it's what gives lasers their incredible intensity and focus. The world's first working laser was built in 1960 by a physicist named Theodore Maiman. This invention marked a significant milestone in the field of physics and technology. It used a synthetic ruby crystal to produce a pulse of red light. The ruby laser was a marvel of engineering and scientific ingenuity. Although it was a groundbreaking invention, this first laser wasn't very powerful. You couldn't even see the beam unless you looked at it through a special filter. Despite its limitations it paved the way for future advancements. Since then, scientists and engineers have developed many different types of lasers, using various materials and designs. The evolution of laser technology has been rapid and transformative. Today, lasers come in all shapes and sizes, from tiny lasers used in electronics to massive lasers used in scientific research facilities. They are integral to numerous applications, including medicine, communication, and manufacturing. Lasers have revolutionized many industries. In medicine, they are used for precise surgeries and treatments. In communication, they enable high-speed data transmission through fiber optics. In manufacturing, lasers are used for cutting and engraving materials with incredible precision. From the simple laser pointer to the complex systems used in scientific research, the impact of Mayman's invention is undeniable. We owe a great deal to Theodore Mayman for his pioneering work in laser technology. We've talked about how lasers work, but what's the science behind it? How do these beams of light become so powerful and precise? Lasers rely on a special interaction between light and atoms called stimulated emission. This process is fundamental to the operation of all lasers. Atoms have different energy levels, and when an atom absorbs energy, it jumps to a higher energy level. This energy can come from various sources, such as electrical currents or other light sources. This higher energy level is unstable, so the atom wants to return to its original lower energy level. This transition is a key part of the laser process. When it does, it releases the extra energy in the form of a photon, a tiny packet of light. This photon is what we see as laser light. The photon emitted has a specific wavelength, which determines its color. Different wavelengths correspond to different colors in the spectrum. In a laser, this process of stimulated emission is carefully controlled to produce a stream of identical photons, all with the same wavelength and traveling in the same direction. This control is what gives lasers their unique properties. This is what makes laser light so different from ordinary light. While ordinary light scatters in all directions, laser light is coherent, meaning the light waves are in phase and travel in a single, focused beam. 
Before we wrap up, if you enjoyed learning about lasers please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends.